Well, again, everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in part seven of our eight-part basic training series for Adobe Premiere Elements. We have got a nice little movie that's come together on our timeline. It's got an audio track. It's got narration. It's got some nice video. And now it's time to add some titles to it. There are actually a number of ways to add titles to a movie here in Premiere Elements. And probably the simplest is to use an existing template. The library of templates can be opened by clicking on the T plus button here on the toolbar on the right hand side of the program. And if you go up to the top where it says motion titles and click on that, you'll find access to two categories of titles, the motion titles and classic titles. Classic titles come in a variety of categories and a variety of templates and themes. Great many of these include graphics that are customizable. Most come in four subcategories. So for instance, in this theme, you can have a rolling title. You can have a standard title title, a stationary title. You can have a lower third in which the person or place is identified on the screen in a graphic that is in the lower third of the video. Or you can have a heavily graphic title in which graphics cover the entire screen. You notice a great number of them have a little indicator in the upper right hand corner. That means that they're not yet downloaded to the program, but the very first time you use them, they'll be downloaded. It just takes a couple minutes. They'll be downloaded to the program and installed, and then they'll be yours forevermore. Motion titles are a little more interesting. In, the, in motion titles, you have motion elements, as you might expect. Graphics and text elements that move in and out of the picture, and these are customizable also. But just to show the basic principles of how to work with a title in Premiere Elements, let's just use a basic graphic title. To do that, I'm just going to position the playhead here on my timeline where I'd like my title to appear, and then go up to the top of the screen and select Text, New Title, Default Text. This creates a title on the lowest available video track, which in this particular case is on Video Track 2. And you notice when I add the title, it opens up a workspace of adjustments for the title. If I were to close that by simply clicking on the timeline, I can reopen it at any time simply by double clicking on the title. There it is on my timeline. Let's double click it. I can customize the text. And with that text selected, I can do some customization to it. There are text modifications based on font. I can change the font for it. I can change the size. Let's change that to about 130. I can change the color for it. And then by switching from text mode to selection mode, I can move the title so it appears wherever I want it in the picture to appear. I can apply styles to it. There's a nice library of existing styles. I can apply animation to the title and have it appear one letter at a time or one word at a time. I can have it spin in, I can have it fade in or compress in. And I can add shapes to my title also. I can import graphics to this and I can create a whole custom title if I'd like. And there are tools in here to create my own rolling titles also. So there are a number of ways to create titles for your movie and even more ways to customize them for your specific needs or desires. And we've finished our movie. And in part eight, we're going to look at ways to output the movie, how to export and share our movies here in Premiere Elements. That's part eight of our eight part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. I'm Steve Grisetti. I wrote the Movie Picks Guide, and I hope to see you in part eight. Take care.